All right, good day, hi, and welcome. Let me show you what I got here. It came in today. I just came in quite quickly. Behold, the legend. There's some of the packing from it. The SM. Go over here, maybe. I don't know. Not very good lighting down here. The SM57 Sure microphone. And uh, this will just be a talking video. These are very legendary microphones. I've used them before. This is the first one I've ever owned. Three pin. This is a cardioid dynamic mic. Uh, let me tell you what it's all about. Uh, trying to put it somewhere so it doesn't get dirty. The box that came in is pretty dirty. I'll put it right there. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of reading. So, here's the box here. So, legendary instrumental microphone. SM57. I already have an SM58. But this is mainly for my recording now. I like what they wrote here. Uh, yeah, legendary instrumental microphone. Um, industry standard high uh, high versatility microphone tuned for clean reproductions of amplifier and acoustic instruments. Which for me would be mainly both of those. So. Uh, go ahead, play hard. More than able to reproduce tone, the SM57 is also uniquely designed to deal with high-pressure sounds that explode from instruments and, uh, and amplifiers. So you can turn it up without uh, distortion drowning out the show. Uh, your music deserves all the loud it can get. That's nice. Made for the stage. Uh, construction uh, or the contoured frequency response makes it simple to engineer clean pickup uh, for live sound mixes. And I'll explain why that is in a second. Handles the high pressure. Uh, hard knocks are just a part of shows sometimes, and the SM57 is built to take them on. Uh, a hit from a high kick or flying drumstick can't shut it down. Well, hopefully nobody's beating on it with a drumstick, but they do use these to mic drums and guitar. I've had my guitar amplifiers mic by these type of microphones before. Uh, only... The only loud you want. With all the uh, uniform uh, cardioid pattern, the pneumatic shock uh, uh, shock mount system, you get the whole lot a whole lot of tone without handling uh, without the handling or background noise. Okay, so what's going on with this thing? Why did I get this uh, uh, for recording over my SM58? Well, my SM58 has a similar pattern, but not quite the same. This one is a unidirectional mic, so it means it will pick up on the sides and stuff like that. But however, when you get directly behind this mic, it picks up nothing. And when you get like, say from here to like here, it picks up like nothing. But here, you can boost all the volume you want. Maybe not quite that close, but you get the idea. So I'll explain to you as is explained here. Uh, yeah, there we go. So you can see zero degrees to 90 degrees it'll pick up but at 180 degrees it's like there, there's no sound placement now something i just learned okay when i got this out of the box about five minutes ago look at that uh oh don't worry about it. <clears throat> it says right in here that that's normal it says i'll tell you what it says it says uh the uh, grill on top of the microphone should rotate freely this is a part of the design and does not mean it that the grill is broken in certain applications such as close miking uh drums an audio rattle might occur uh, a windscreen or very small piece of foam wedged under the grill can eliminate the this problem do not apply tape otherwise uh, cover the block the uh, grills vents as distributes the directly uh, directionality of the microphone uh, please visit sure website for more information so it just gives you an idea of how the polar uh, the, the microphone typical polar patterns of it uh, and you got from where's the range I'll read you the specs so you get the range here uh, dynamic moving coil uh, frequency 40 to 15,000 Hertz uh, Polar pattern, uh, cardioid output, uh, 310 ohms. Sensitivity, 1 kilohertz open circuit voltage. Negative 56 dB volts, uh, PA. And 1.6 millivolts. Uh, polarity, positive pressure on the diaphragm produces 
positive voltage on pin two and with respect to pin three weight uh, point uh, zero point two eight four of a kilogram or point six two five of, of a pound so uh connector three pin uh professional audio xlr male housing dark gray enamel painted die cast steel with uh, polycarbonate grill and stainless steel screen uh pa equals 94 db slp and that's pretty much all the the important stuff anyway so i bought this microphone mainly for recording my acoustic guitar uh this is the warranty in about 100 million languages uh it comes with a nice case all the sure microphones come with a nice case comes with a sticker sure how you doing sure so i'll just put the sure sticker over there came in that box that was on the cover of the box and this is for your microphone now i bought this microphone stand as a separate and that's the ms206 economic tripod uh, uh tripod boom stand i.e cheap got it for 44 bucks on sale i guess we can go ahead and put this up on here right where it belongs because that's where it's going to stay for the rest of its life um i needed two stands because i'm going to do a two mic recording uh which is going to be really cool and it's got all your locks on there and everything you lock it so it doesn't swivel it goes up and down it's 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 it, it, yeah I'll, I'll but i'll deal with that later so anyway uh so nice boom stand uh but i bought this mainly because the sm58 uh is a really cool mic how am i doing for time here not too bad okay um the sm58 is really good for like live stage so if you got like a singer on each side of the mic and one person you, like three people can sing into an sm58 but it picks up everything right where this it's a little more focused and direct uh in the sense where it'll pick up like i say here what's in front of it and here but if you if you're let's say that's your speaker if you put this here they won't pick up your speaker an sm58 would probably pick up some of that uh, an SM58 will actually pick up some of your audience if they're close enough. Um, but that's the kind of mic it's designed for. So it's a really good mic for live vocals and everything. But for recording, you don't want all that. You just want it, you know, catching the sound, going by it, and that's it. And uh, these are good hefty mics. Uh, they're made out of steel. They're... They've been around, I think, since 1957. Don't quote me on that. But this is an industry uh, industry standard. So if you don't know what mic to get for recording, this is the mic. But if you also want a mic that's good for recording, uh, it was between this, uh, the SM57 and the SM181, uh, but they didn't have the 181 in stock, which would be a better for recording. But this is kind of like a jack-of-all-trade mics where it will record well but it will also uh be take the high pressure for like i say a drum kit so you're making a snare it'll take those high pressure sounds without peeking out um you can you can use it for vocals it's just you have to be dead on for the vocals or else <laughs> what tends to happen is uh they don't pick up so i'm gonna compare the two mics side by side just so you can see the difference but I'm, i haven't tried this one yet so i gotta test it make sure it's good i got a cord 25 feet i didn't want 25 feet that long but that's what they had so that's what i got and uh yeah but i'm happy only took uh, three days the mic was 129 canadian um and there's a quite a few flavors of this uh, whatever but if you don't know what mic to start with with recording this might not be the best microphone in the world to record with but it, it's a really good one it does do the job very well and you can also use it in live settings which is very important as well so anyway i'll just leave it at about that and i'll get it i'll put both mics side by side so you can see the differences in the sm57 and the sm58 and stuff like that <laughs> 